I'm Jesse Ray Ernster. I'm a mixer, and I mix the Grammy-nominated album I Told Them by Burna Boy, which is up for Best Global Music Album. Uh, getting a Grammy nomination is the highest honor. You know, it's it's the Heisman, it's the the gold medal at the Olympics, and to be regarded by my peers as somebody eligible for a really high-quality piece of art that we worked super hard on, it, it means the world. Uh, one of the unconventional things that happened during the mixing of the album was on the song City Boys. After the song was finished being mixed and mastered, they wanted to add in these big like stomp sounds in the bridge or in one of the verses. And you know, it, it had already run through. I didn't want to reprint everything and do some analog recalls. So we just threw the stomps over the master and put on another limiter and exported it. Some people would say, well, don't you feel strange that you re-limited a limited mix and added more things in? No. I don't, because there aren't rules, and it sounded great, and it was impactful, and Berna loved it. So we sent it. That was it. During the making of this album, uh, I was exceptionally proud of the entire team, but especially young engineer legend Otis Millstone uh, came through and delivered all the assets and protected this album and brought it from start to finish. In the past, it had always been my responsibility to pull stems and sessions and find files from people all over the world and bring them together and build the mixes in Pro Tools. Uh, and this time we had the luxury of Otis just being there as his burn as engineer, uh, protecting the sessions, making sure everything was great, getting everything sounding wonderful. So by the time it came to mix, it was just, it was easy. It was beautiful. It was fun. Yeah. Shout out Otis. Thank you, man. So I get to stay up to date with all the latest mixing and production trends because I get the luxury of opening all the young guys and gals sessions every day. You know, I'm not the guy who's opening sessions and, you know, bypassing plugins or, you know, putting my master bus in and like, no, I'm, I'm respecting what the producer and the engineers and the team build. They're used to hearing it that way. They just want me to enhance. So I'm going in though and I'm, I'm taking notes and I'm seeing what they did in their plugins. I'm seeing how people are mixing and, and, you know, we can't get complacent. We got to keep that edge and stay sharp. If I had one piece of advice to give to an up-and-coming engineer, producer, or music maker, I would say just be going in with the right intentions and be true to yourself and be there for the right reasons. Be there to serve the artist and serve the song and serve the music with integrity. We're not there making decisions based on what will bring in awards and what will result in sales. We're here to make art, make music for the right reasons. And if you're already showing up every day and you're making records, and you're having a great time, you're getting your rocks off, you're already doing everything you need to be doing. If I never got paid another dime in the music business, I would still show up every single morning and I would be doing what I'm doing now. I would be doing exactly what I'm doing now, day in and day out, because I love it. And that's why I'm in it. <laughs>